In Capacity Task 2, you should make two independent determinations of diffusivity for two different substances using an extremely simple setup. With one beret, fill to a certain level with one substance and another beret with the other substance and a thermometer. What you should do is to go to this equipment and read the berets, note down how many milliliters, note down the temperature and at what time you took that measurement. If you do this carefully, for one of the substances you should be able to get so good values so that your determination is less than 8% wrong, relative error. And thus you need a good handbook so that you can compare with the literature value for the temperature that you have in your experiment. If you're just starting with Compulsive Task 2, you probably don't understand how to get from the measurements to the determined diffusivity. But don't worry. The idea is that you should start doing this before you actually understand the theory and the theory will follow. But I would recommend you to try to, to think about and make hypothesis of which of the two substances uh, will have a water or liquid level that decrease fastest and which one will be slower. And why is that? And if you haven't done any measurements yet, well, go to the equipment, compare the, how many milliliters are in there now with our first measurement that we have done in advance. From that you can figure out how much do I need to wait before uh, I can go back again and see a difference. One of the substances will disappear rather slowly, so you can't just go there in a few hours or so, but you can figure out from your first measurement approximately how long time you have to wait. And how do you read the bread? Well, the trick is to put your eyes in the same level as the water and then look straight uh, through, uh, through the uh, liquid level. And if the liquid is transparent, then there is an optical phenomenon that turns the colored band at the back of the breath into an arrow. And you should read that arrow exactly where the where it points. So if you have this for example, what is the reading here? Pause and try to read and this is the answer. So if you haven't done any measurements, go do them and uh, pause here and uh, skip the rest of this video and come back later. Okay, so you have come back. You have done some measurements and you're still trying to figure out how do I get from these measurements of milliliters to some kind of diffusivity in square meters per second. It has something to do with some kind of velocity. I mean, diffusivity divided by distance is meters per second. But I have milliliters, I don't have meters. How do I do this? Well, you need a ruler. So for each of the two birettes, there are two measurements you need to make with a ruler. And, and I think you should make several measurements first of how many milliliters there are, and then you should go uh, and take the ruler. One reason is that if you disturb the system, then you might not get as accurate values of diffusivity. When you use the ruler, there are good ways to do it and there are bad ways to do it. Try to figure out a way that produces as low uncertainty as possible. So there are different ways to measure this and translate these milliliters to some kind of distance, but there are good ways and there are bad ways. 
So discuss uh, with your fellow students and discuss with teachers how to do that.